In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get those light trail dance floor photos in just six easy steps. What's up guys, Reggie B Photo here and welcome back to the channel. So for those of you who are new, my name is Reggie Ballesteros and I'm a wedding photographer based in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you've been wanting to spice up your wedding reception photos, having some light trail dance floor photos is the best way to do it. The first step is having the proper gear. So for this video, I'm using the Fujifilm X-T3 with the 16mm 1.4 prime lens and a Godox V1 on camera flash on my camera. But the truth is you can really achieve this technique with any type of camera brand and you actually don't need that much gear. As far as the camera goes, all you need is something with manual control over the exposure settings. As far as lenses go, wide angles work best, which is 16mm on crop sensors and 24mm on the full frame systems. As far as flashes go, any flash will do, you don't have to have the most expensive one. And to be quite honest, even the onboard or pop-up flash on your camera will work too. For step two, we're gonna put the camera to my go-to starting exposure setting. And that is to set the shutter speed to one fifth of a second, the aperture to F5.6, and for ISO, set it to the lowest base ISO that your camera can go. Okay, step three. So now we're gonna dial in the ambient exposure of the room with the flash off. If you're using a DSLR, you're gonna have to do test shots to really figure this out. But if you're using a mirrorless camera, you can just turn on the preview exposure mode of your camera. And here we're gonna basically make adjustments to our exposure settings so that the ambient exposure of the room is sufficiently dark but at the same time the lights inside the room anything really that's going to be a highlight in the scene is exposed so that you can see it but it's not blown out or overexposed the settings will really vary depending on the room and the environment but typically your aperture is going to be set around somewhere between f5.6 to f8 and your iso is going to be somewhere between iso 100 to 400 your shutter speed you really want to keep that around one fifth of a second or a little bit slower just so you can make sure you can get that light trail action okay step four is to set up the flash so first and foremost we're going to turn on the flash and if you have a model that has a flash head that can be positioned we're going to point that straight forward if you're using the onboard flash of your camera or the pop-up flash this is already going to be set for you and if your flash has a zooming capability zoom in the flash head all the way in this is going to narrow the flash beam and really give you that spotlight effect so now step five is to dial in the flash exposure first we're going to set the flash exposure to 1 16th power and take a few test shots and here we're going to adjust the flash for the correct flash exposure which is basically to make sure that the main intended subject which is usually around three to five feet away from you is not blown out or overexposed and note that I'm using manual flash power here it's just my personal preference but if you're using TTL I'm sure you can dial in the flash exposure to negative one-third or negative half flash exposure compensation and that's gonna get you around the ballpark where you need to be so step six is where all the fun comes in focus the camera fire and twist So when you're shooting, you want to press down the shutter and then quickly after move the camera. You either want to twist it, pan it from left to right, zoom in or out, anything that's going to cause some motion. Because of the one fifth of a second long exposure, any ambient light sources in the room are going to appear as light trails with the movement. But the main subject is going to remain sharp, crisp, and correctly exposed by the flash. As far as autofocus settings go, really just use whatever autofocus settings work best for your camera in low light. For me personally, on my Fujifilm X-T3, I use AFS or autofocus single, and I set this to either the wide area mode or a zone focus mode. Don't worry too much about this because since the lens is stopped down and it's a wide angle lens, for the most part, everything's really going to be in focus anyways, despite the fact that these subjects are going to be moving around and dancing. Remember to have fun. Experiment with different movements and just don't be afraid to make mistakes. If you like this tutorial and you want to learn more about how I use off-camera and on-camera flash during the wedding day, please check out my full behind the scenes video linked up above or down in the description below for how I use on-camera and off-camera flash during a wedding reception. And please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already as I make a new Fujifilm or photography video every week. But if you can't wait that long, check me out on Instagram and at Photo as I'm posting new tutorials throughout the week. Alright, that's it for me. Remember to get out, go shoot, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.